The crane shot, a Hollywood camera move that has been around for decades, appeared in many Oscar winning films, is used by the world's best directors and really flexes the production value of a film. But what happens if you don't have a crane? What if you can't afford one? Or even if you can, what if you don't want to lug one around with you just to get one shot? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways to get that epic Hollywood camera movement without a crane. That's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, and today I've got some filmmaking tips for you. Tips that will instantly increase the production value of your footage and give you that epic Hollywood look. Okay, so how do we get a crane shot without a crane? That cinematic camera movement, the camera rising up to reveal a beautiful location or scene. Well, you could shoot it completely handheld. It is absolutely possible to fake a crane shot with your hands. I've done this multiple times in various locations all over the world. You just need the right technique. One of two things will come in very useful here, okay? An image stabilized lens or in-body stabilization. If your camera has either of these, enable one of them. Now you could shoot this on any camera, DSLR, mirrorless or phone. The iPhone, by the way, has really good in-body stabilization. So that would come in really useful for this. So here's the technique. We're going to crank down with our camera low to the ground holding it with two hands we're going to slowly stand up note at this point my arms aren't moving just my legs until I'm stood up then I let my arms take over and stretch as high as I can so that the camera has consistent movement also note here how I've deliberately used foreground in this shot this is one of the best ways to create more movement in your shots layer them foreground, mid-ground, background. This will really emphasize your camera movement. Now you might not be getting the crane height with this shot, but you're definitely replicating that movement. This is the easiest, quickest, cheapest way to fake a crane shot. Bonus tip, use a camera strap. Doing this with a camera strap around your neck will create three points of contact for a much smoother shot. Pull tight, create some tension, and this will iron out any unwanted shake. Okay, the next way to fake a crane shot is with a gimbal. Now, in terms of technique, it's very similar to shooting handheld, except this time we don't need a camera strap or an image stabilized lens because the gimbal will give us that nice, smooth, fluid movement. Again, use foreground, crouch down, stand up, a bit more arm work involved with this one. And I find keeping your arms straight will help get a much smoother shot. Plus, the gimbal will give you that extra height so you can really sell this as a crane shot. Also, remember, your camera movements don't always need to go straight up. You can combine camera movements with these shots. Try lifting up, but also adding some camera movement to either the left or the right for a much more dynamic shot. Okay, the next way to fake a crane shot is with either a monopod or a broomstick. In a previous video, I showed you how to create this look with a gimbal taped to a broomstick. Definitely not the most professional look. I wouldn't rock up to a client shoot like this, but it gets the job done. And you can get really creative with this setup. Big swooping camera movements, almost drone-like, and this really makes your footage stand out. I've got another video coming up really soon dedicated to the gimbal monopod combo, and the shots I've been getting are absolutely next level. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you are, because you do not want to miss that one. And look, if you found this video useful, let me know. Give it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, then you can do that by clicking over there and watching one of my other tutorials. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.